between the southern tip of South America and the northernmost reaches of the Antarctic Peninsula lies one of the most notorious bodies of water on Earth, the Drake Passage. For centuries, this channel has inspired both awe and fear among explorers, sailors, and scientists. Known for its towering waves, fierce storms, and remoteness, the Drake Passage has long been a crucible of human endurance. Recently, however, it reminded the world that its dangers are not limited to the surface. In August 2025, a powerful earthquake measuring around magnitude 7.5 struck beneath the seafloor of this remote channel, shaking an already treacherous environment. The quake raised concerns about seismic instability in a region already fraught with natural challenges and underscored the fragile relationship between tectonic forces, oceanic conditions, and human exploration. The earthquake also reignited interest in understanding the passage's unique geological and oceanographic character. To fully grasp the dangers of this area, it is necessary to explore the historical significance of the Drake Passage, its tectonic underpinnings, the environmental risks that make it so treacherous, and the implications of seismic activity for navigation, climate, and geopolitics. Before we start, don't forget to click on that subscribe button and like this video as it's the best way to support this channel. The Drake Passage is located between Cape Horn, the southern tip of South America, and the South Shetland Islands of Antarctica. Stretching roughly 800 kilometers across at its narrowest point, it serves as the only open sea connection between the Atlantic and Pacific Oceans at these latitudes. Unlike the Panama Canal to the north, which is man-made, the Drake Passage is nature's sole deep water corridor linking the two great oceans. Its width and depth create a free flow of water that drives the Antarctic Circumpolar Current, the most powerful ocean current on the planet. The seascape here is wild. With no landmasses to block winds circulating around the globe, storms sweep unhindered across the passage, generating waves that can reach heights of 15 to 20 meters. Mariners have long distinguished between the Drake Lake, a rare calm state of the passage, and the Drake Shake, its usual condition of towering seas and screaming winds. Few places on Earth embody such extremes of unpredictability. The remote location adds to its danger. Ushuaia in Argentina, the closest port city, lies hundreds of kilometers to the north. Beyond the passage, Antarctica stretches out as the least hospitable continent. Should disaster strike at sea, assistance is distant, and rescue operations are constrained by weather and remoteness. Thus, the Drake Passage is not merely a geographic feature, but a test of endurance, where natural forces converge to create one of the harshest environments. Beneath the stormy waters of the Drake Passage lies a geological landscape shaped by tectonic drama. The passage sits at the intersection of the South American Plate, the Antarctic Plate, and several microplates. This complex tectonic setting is a legacy of the breakup of the supercontinent Gondwana. Around 30 million years ago, the South American and Antarctic Plates separated, opening the Drake Passage and allowing the Antarctic Circumpolar Current to form. The seafloor here is fractured by faults, ridges, and transformed boundaries. The Scotia Plate, a small tectonic plate caught between the larger South American and Antarctic plates plays a pivotal role in local seismicity. The boundaries between these plates are seismically active, though not as notorious as the subduction zones along Chile's Pacific coast. Still, stress accumulates along faults beneath the Drake Passage, releasing energy in occasional large earthquakes. The 2025 quake, with its shallow depth of just over 10 kilometers, illustrates how this tectonic setting can generate strong shaking. While the quake did not cause widespread damage, its magnitude, 7.5, was large enough to trigger tsunami alerts. The combination of shallow depth and offshore location is precisely the kind of scenario that can generate hazardous tsunamis, even if, in this case, no significant waves materialized. On August 21, 2025, Seismic sensors registered a major earthquake beneath the Drake Passage, 
with a magnitude of 7.5 and an epicenter roughly 710 kilometers southeast of Ushuaia, the event rattled one of the most remote corners of the globe. Authorities briefly issued tsunami warnings for coastal Chile and parts of Antarctica. However, these warnings were quickly rescinded when data confirmed that no destructive waves had been generated. The quake, while dramatic, caused no casualties or damage due to the absence of nearby urban centers. Its significance lay instead in its reminder of the region's tectonic volatility. Scientists noted that this event followed a magnitude 7.4 earthquake off southern Chile in May 2025, hinting at heightened seismic activity in the broader South Atlantic and southern Chilean region. For many, the Drake Passage is synonymous with storms and waves. The August earthquake underscored that beneath the churning waters lies another hazard, the restless shifting of Earth's crust. If future earthquakes were to occur closer to shorelines, or with conditions favorable to tsunami generation, the impact could be far more serious. The 2025 event, therefore, served as both a wake-up call and a scientific opportunity to study seismic behavior in this understudied region. The August 2025 quake highlighted another underappreciated danger of the Drake Passage, tsunami potential. Though the quake did not generate significant waves, the possibility exists. The tectonic boundaries in the region are capable of producing vertical displacements of the seafloor, precisely the mechanism that spawns tsunamis. Given the remoteness of the region, such waves might not immediately threaten large populations, but they could impact coastal settlements in southern Chile, Argentina, or even Antarctic research stations. Moreover, tsunamis generated in the South Atlantic can travel great distances. In theory, a sufficiently large quake in the Drake Passage could send waves across the Atlantic, reaching distant shores in Africa or the South Atlantic islands. While such scenarios are rare, they cannot be dismissed. The events of 2025 demonstrated the need for continued monitoring and improved understanding of the seismic potential in this little studied zone. Beyond its immediate dangers, the Drake Passage is vital to Earth's climate system. When it opened around 30 million years ago, it allowed the Antarctic Circumpolar Current to encircle the continent. This isolated Antarctica climatically, triggering the growth of its massive ice sheets. Today, the passage remains central to global thermohaline circulation. It helps drive the upwelling of nutrient-rich waters that sustain marine ecosystems across the world's oceans. However, climate change is altering the dynamics of the passage. Stronger winds, driven by a warming planet, are intensifying the Antarctic Circumpolar Current. This has implications not only for marine navigation, but also for the distribution of heat and carbon in the global ocean. In this sense, the Drake Passage is not just a regional hazard, but a global climate regulator, a choke point through which Earth's climate engine operates. Despite its dangers, the Drake Passage is far from deserted. Cruise tourism to Antarctica has surged in recent decades, with tens of thousands of tourists crossing the passage each year. These journeys, while thrilling, expose thousands of people annually to the risks of storms, waves, and, as recently demonstrated, earthquakes. Research vessels also regularly traverse the passage, conducting studies on climate, biology, and oceanography. The human presence adds another layer of vulnerability. A major earthquake combined with storms could place vessels at risk far from immediate rescue. Furthermore, Antarctic research stations depend on supply routes that often pass through or near the passage. Any disruption caused by seismic or oceanographic hazards could imperil vital scientific operations. Thus, the dangers of the Drake Passage are not abstract. They directly intersect with human activity in one of the world's most remote regions. The Drake Passage's dangers demand continued vigilance. Seismic monitoring in the South Atlantic has historically lagged behind that of more populated regions, but the 2025 quake highlighted the importance of investing in better systems. Expanding sensor networks, deploying ocean bottom seismometers, and improving tsunami modeling are essential steps. Likewise, vessels crossing the passage 
must adhere to strict safety protocols, ensuring that rescue operations can be mobilized despite the remoteness. Climate change adds urgency to these efforts. As storms intensify and the Antarctic ice sheet continues to lose mass, the dynamics of the passage may shift in unpredictable ways. Icebergs may become more numerous, current stronger, and weather windows narrower. The combination of seismic hazards, oceanographic volatility, and climatic change paints a sobering picture of the passage's future. The Drake Passage will remain one of Earth's most perilous frontiers, and its future carries both uncertainty and urgency. Scientists anticipate that seismic activity in the region may continue. As tectonic stress builds along the boundaries of the Scotia and Antarctic plates, while the August 2025 earthquake caused little damage, it highlighted the potential for larger, tsunami-generating events in the future. At the same time, climate change is reshaping the dynamics of the passage. Strengthening westerly winds and melting Antarctic ice are expected to intensify the Antarctic circumpolar current, making storms and wave activity even more severe. For ships, research vessels, and Antarctic expeditions, the risks will only grow. Improved monitoring networks, better tsunami modeling, and enhanced maritime safety protocols are crucial for minimizing danger. Ultimately, the Drake Passage stands as both a scientific frontier and a stark reminder that humanity must adapt to an environment that is anything but forgiving.